and hello and welcome to part number four of my let's play of Planet Zoo. Alright you guys, so we are going to go ahead and resume playing Raylanil's Safari today. And I am very much looking forward to this, especially because as of this point, I am pre-recording a bit more because that's what I generally like to do. And I have put out the first two parts of this Let's Play onto my channel. And so far you guys have really, really been enjoying it, which is freaking amazing, so I'm excited. Alright, let's see what the inspector had to say. Oh dear, the education facilities aren't ranked very good. Cleanliness is great. And each of the exhibits for the animals, the habitats rather, sorry, is ranked at 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's not great, but I'll take it. I will certainly take it. Ooh, we're really close to earning this one. Oh, and also, as you might notice if you're watching this on a larger screen, I have quite a bit more money now, and that is because I just simply let the game play for a while so that we wouldn't be quite so broke. And let's see here. The African wild dogs are doing their thing over there. Let me make sure that my veterinarians are all doing research. Yes, they are good. One of them is not doing research though, so that one we will have doing research on something else in a bit here. And let's see, let's have somebody do some research on one of the themes, or the food shops actually, we could do that. Let's have the Africa theme unlocked, because that one will unlock some stuff that I would really like for this zoo. Like the thatched roofs, that would look perfect on this and would be so much better than what we've currently got on that shelter. Oh, and I have a bit of sad news. One of my African wild dogs, uh, Mandolin I think his name was, yeah, was, uh, he randomly died for no apparent reason of old age, even though he was the exact same age and a little younger than some of my other dogs. Like, let's see how old this one is. 9.8 years and it doesn't even say he's an elder yet? Or yeah, actually he is elderly. But yeah, the other one died of old age out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, okay. So we're down a wild dog, sadly. <laughs> it's very depressing, but it'll be okay. We'll be okay. We will mourn him, though. Okay. Now... Let's see what we've got. We've got ostriches, a lot of warthogs. Oh my goodness, so many warthogs. Let's see, we've got lemurs, we've got springboks, and we've got Thompson's gazelles. Okay, let's build a habitat for the African herd animals, and let's put it over here, actually not too far away from the wild dogs. And I'm sure some of you might be like, but Ray Linnell, that's mean! You don't want the animals that close to each other when they're predator and prey. And you might be right, you might be right, but there's going to be plenty of space between them. So they shouldn't actually be able to really uh, be too freaked out by each other. Let's see. As long as they're not like literally in the same habitat, they shouldn't care, honestly, from what I understand. So we'll just make sure they're not in the same habitat and we'll be good. Let's see, let's put this right there. Let's put that there. Yeah. Okay. Let's make this nice and long. Make this nice and long. We're going to need to make this habitat very large because it's going to have multiple different species in it. Hello, Captain Jack Sparrow, the beta fish. <laughs> He's being incredibly adorable right now. Okay. Let's see, can we move this over here, maybe? Yeah, because I want this to go all the way over here. 
Okay. Let's move the. No! Oh! That's not what I wanted to do! Ugh. Let's move the fence over here. Make it longer. Oh, okay. Apparently, we'll make it that long because that's the longest in Lilao for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. There we go. Nope. Won't let it go any longer than that. Okay. There. That's better, though. Now, let's get the paths sorted. Align to the grid, yes. Selecting grid. There we go. What do you mean it's obstructed? Don't lie to me, game! How dare you! How dare you! We'll add more to that in a bit here. Let's see. Paths. Select the grid. There we go. Do, 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 do. My beta fish is staring at me very intensely. I think he wants his water changed today. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, and I will definitely be doing that later. Okay, there's ten of those. Let's make it up to twelve. There we go. Okay, now barriers. Bloop. Let's see, let's go ahead and put in, there we go. Why will this not go in? What on earth? Why? Uh, uh, there we go. Come on, thingy. Eh. There we go, we got that sorted. Okay, that was as long as it'll go. There we go, we've got that now. Let's see, I want this to be huge. Compared to the other ones anyway. And just in general. Like, on general principle, it needs to be very big. So let's make this long. Make this nice and long. Okay, let's make that go like that. Because I'm aiming for... oopsie daisies. I'm aiming for approximately 5,000 square meters in there. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get that amount without too much trouble. Okay, it looks like we can now start bringing this in over this way because we need to have enough room for all the animals but at the same time I can't make it too big otherwise we'll have some even worse problems namely the keepers will have trouble feeding all the animals because I had that issue in a previous sandbox zoo I had where the keepers just were not keeping the animals fed at all because the habitat was way too large and it was almost impossible for them to get around the whole thing in time to keep everybody fed. And it was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I had several animals die of starvation on me and I'm like, are you serious right now? It sucked. So we're definitely not going to have a repeat of that in this zoo. <laughs> no siree. No, no, definitely not. There we go. There! Hooray! And I will put the habitat gate right here if it'll allow it. Come on, please allow it. There we go. Okay, let me put it in right there. Let's put in the staff path to there if it'll let it. No, it won't, but whatever. It should be fine, hopefully. Hopefully. I think we might actually have to move this because it's not trying, it's not really working. Come on. Move thingy. There we go. Okay. There we go. There. That's a lot better. Okay, cool. 
So they'll be able to get into this habitat without an issue now. And let's see, what kind of barrier should we put in here? Because normally for this kind of habitat, I would actually be putting in the, um, I would be putting in the steel mesh, but we don't have that available. So hopefully this will be strong enough to keep in the, like, giraffes and stuff that are going to be in here. Hopefully. Let's see, let's make this glass because that is the primary theme that we're going with here. And then this whole side here is also going to be glass. Okay, make that glass. There we go. And now, let's be sure to put in the important things like the donation boxes. Eh, there we go. Got three of them over there. Let's put in one here. And one over here. And one right near the middle, just to be safe. And also to be safe, I'm going to save the zoo really quick. Okay, resume. Alright, now. Let's see what all we've got going here. We need to research so much stuff, but we'll get there eventually, don't worry. Don't worry, everybody, we'll be fine. Okay, now we need to add in this giant habitat to the entrance area. Actually, no, I'm going to make that be its own work zone. Let's see. African herd animals. Okay, and then we'll add in all these staff buildings so that the staff uses them correctly. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and check out this vet research, apparently. Ooh, we got more stuff for our flamingos, yay! Awesomeness. Now, who all's in the storage trading center that we can get out of there? Let's start with our ostriches. Let's see, can I pause the game? There we go. Let's see, ostrich. Let's start with the ostriches. Because we need some ostriches. Move them. Okay, cool, we've got them going. And then these two warthogs are babies. Okay, let's put you in quarantine, little miss. And you as well. Those warthogs have good genetics, so hopefully that's a good sign here. And then this warthog is awesome, so let's make sure she goes into quarantine. And then, let's see, this is the male. He's alright. He's not great, but he's not terrible by any means. And then, let's see, the rest of these warthogs. I think I'm going to put in this white one, because that seems fun. But the rest of them, I think I'm going to save for a different franchise zoo, you guys. And I hope you're all cool with that. Let's see, and then we'll need to put in the Springboks and Thompson's Gazelles, but we'll make sure that the uh, first two species are doing well first. And in the meantime, is this a water treatment facility? Yes it is, that's what I thought. Okay, good. So, we're going to be building a little pond area over here. This spot right here is going to be the watering hole because savanna animals often like to have a watering hole where they can go and get a drink. So I'm going to fill that with some nice water. There we go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and grab the short grass and just cover this habitat with that. Oh, wait a second. We gotta get rid of this tree. Bye-bye, tree. Bye-bye, tree. 
Let's see, let's open this up. Make it as big as it can be. Because they don't really- the African herd animals aren't super fond of having loads of sand everywhere or anything like that. So, we're going to need to make sure that they've got plenty of grass instead. <gasps> Yay! The education went up! Hooray! It wants me to release two Aldebra giant tortoises to the wild eventually. Well, that's going to be a while. We'll do it one day, though. We'll do it one day. Okay, we've got that going good. More vet research is complete. Okay, we've got the long grass in the middle of the habitat now. Okay. Let's make sure we've got some soil around the edge of the water. Because that would look a little bit strange if we didn't. There we go. Okay, and then we'll figure out what the rest of this is that we need to do in here afterward. Okay, good. We got that unlocked. More stuff for the tortoises. Okay, cool. Five of my creatures are ready to go. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five of them visible here. Okay, let's see, who all's ready? Oh, six of them are ready now. Okay. Looks like all of these guys are ready. So let's move them to this habitat. African herd animals. There we go. Oh, I need to assign some keepers to that zone, and some staff in general. Okay, so let's put in a couple of caretakers, and three keepers, one more mechanic, another security guard. We don't need an extra vendor, but another vet would be good. Okay. So, African herd animals, African herd animals. African herd animals, African herd animals, African herd animals, African herd animals, and African herd animals. Okay, and we'll assign more vets and more keepers as needed. But for right now, we don't need any more, I don't believe. So we should be good there. Let's see, who all do we need to add? Let's see, we need to add the spring box. After I make everything good for the warthogs, we'll make sure that everything's good for the um, other species as well. Yeah, I know, you guys need some plants. And you want a little bit more soil, that's fine. Let's give you some more soil. Let's make it, like, 30% and then, like, go like that. And just keep going. All over the place. Until it says you've got enough. Hi, ostriches! Hi, ostriches! What's up, ostriches? You're ostrichy! You're the bestest of ostriches. Oh, and of course they need some shelter, so we'll make sure to do that in a little bit here. Come on, darlings. Let's get that rating up. Let's get that rating nice and high for the soil. I believe they need like 10% or something like that. Yep, I was right. They needed 10%. Alright, let's check the ostriches. Hello, ostrich. Okay, they're perfectly happy with this setup. Great. Okay. So, let's make sure that they have some African grassland stuff. Let's see. Grassland. Africa. These boobab trees are really expensive, so I'm not going to buy one of them. Uh, they're huge, though. Note how big this thing is. It's gigantic. So, instead, we're going to be getting Umbrella Thornicacia trees. Excuse me, like we have in the wild dog habitat. 
I'm quite fond of these things. I think they look amazing. And let's see, let's put in some papyrus over by the watering hole. Make it look a little bit more realistic and lively, I guess you could say. There we go. There. Lovely. Now this is an aquatic tree, but it's also grassland. So let's put that right there next to the water's edge. That looks really, really pretty. Alright, darling, what do you think? You like the 5% coverage. Okay, you don't want, like, any more coverage. You need more, though. Okay. Let's see, then. What else can we add for them? We can add in some hookthorn acacia trees. Do 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 do. Put in all of these just all over the place. Marula tree, that looks kind of cool. Here we go. Alright, little one, what do you think? You're happy? If you're happy and you know it, be an ostrich! <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, they need more still. Okay. Alrighty. They have 10% coverage now. Hooray! Let's put down some long grass here for them. There we go. We'll make you guys happy eventually. Oops! Come on, let's get the coverage up. There we go, it went up by one freaking percent. Are you serious? <laughs> Oops, I put it on top of the other one there. I did not mean to put the elephant grass on top of the other elephant grass. Let's see, it looks a lot more lush in here though, I like it a lot. It's not supposed to be super lush though, because this is grasslands, but... It is what it is! Let's see, do we need more trees? I think we need more tree. There, now they're happy. Hopefully the ostriches aren't irritated. They're not! Okay, good. Hooray! Alright, they like the coverage level. Now let's put in some rocks. Now that there's just barely enough for the warthogs to be happy. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. What on earth? Why was that happening? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Alright, now let's put some small trees or little African daisies or something like that around here to make it look nicer. Because these shouldn't really count too much against our plant limit, so we should be okay. There we go. Oh, that looks so pretty! I like it! There we go. Do the ostriches feel anger in their souls? No, they don't. What about the warthogs? Okay, they feel happiness in their souls. That's good. Okay, now they need hard shelter. Okay. We will get right on that then! Let me just save the game really quick. Alrighty. Let's build a shelter over here. I wish we had the Africa theme unlocked already, but since we don't, we're gonna just have to deal. <laughs> we're just gonna have to deal with it. I still can't afford the New World exhibit thing, but that's okay. We will get there eventually! Okay... Uh... I don't know why I put in two of those. I don't really need two of those. This kind of looks more like a barn or a fence for a barn or something like that. 
Let's see. Let's put this like that. And then that can go like that. And then this way. And let's put this in like this and this. There we go. That won't work when we have giraffes, but it'll work for the smaller animals. So that's good. As long as it works for something right now, that's all that really matters, because that's what we've got right now. And just for now, I'm going to use these. I know they don't look the best, but they'll have to do for the moment. Because later on we'll unlock the Africa theme and then I can make it look genuinely nice. <laughs> In the meanwhile though, that'll just do. That'll do. Okay, now let's put in some bedding for them. Uh, can I even see in here? There we go. Now I can see in. Oops. There we go. Now they got bedding. We're good now. We're good. Okay. Eh. Alright, now the food bowl will be for the ostriches. And then the food trough over here. We're going to put in a couple of these. Those are going to be for the other species. Let's put in three just to be safe. Okay, now let's find out what the little warthog friend here needs for their enrichment. What do you need, little friends? Okay, so... Our friends here can use this ball and a sprinkler and the herb enrichment. Okay, we'll put the herb enrichment right over there next to the grass. Okay. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Well, I just might have to fix that. There we go. Vet research complete. Cool. We learned more about the wild dogs. That's very helpful indeed. Okay. And now we've got somebody learning about each animal that we've got. Okay. Oh, we need to put in education signs. I completely forgot about that. Oops. Uh, align to surface, please. I know it doesn't look the best when it's like this, but it'll do. Okay, we've got two species in here at the moment. Let's put that right there. Guests can read that as they walk past on the path. Let's see here. There we go. See, guesties can go by there now. It doesn't look literally perfect or anything, but it'll do. Okay. So this will be for the ostriches. And this one shall be for... The no power. Oh, great. <laughs> Lols. Okay, fine. Let's go over here. And put in a sign. Let's make this right. Yeah, no. Quit doing that. I want it to be straight on there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then one right here. Awesomeness. Okay, this one. This one I'll make be about the warthogs. Oh, it's also got no power. Never mind. Never mind. We need to make it so that these things over here have power. Uh... Dun, dun, dun. We need to put in a transformer. How did that not fit there? I can put it on the roof! Oh, there we go. That'll be beautiful. 10 out of 10. Okay, why will this not go in? Why? Why do you hate me, game? 
Why are you cruel and rude? Ugh. Am I going to have to redesign this area of the habitat? Or was it facing the wrong way or something? Why is it not going in? I don't understand! Okay, fine. We're going to have to put one... We're going to have to put this somewhere else then, I guess. <laughs> That's very inconvenient. Can they reach it on the roof? That would be extremely funny if they can. If it tells me that it's inaccessible... <laughs> it looks so stupid up there. <laughs> it's not telling me it's inaccessible. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. Never mind. <laughs> it was a cool idea while it lasted, okay? <laughs> oh, God, that was funny. Anyway. Let's see, so we need... Yeah, a power thing right here would be perfect, but it's obstructed no matter what I do. Unless I put it on the freaking roof, which doesn't work. So... I'm going to put one right there. And I'm going to put one... over... here. There we go. Okay. Now to make the staff paths go to it. Dun, 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 dun. I don't really like that. I want to turn it around. Let's turn it around. There we go. Okay. Let's get you going, thingy majig. Dun 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 dun. dun. Almost there! Almost there! We made it! Yay! Okay, now it's not inaccessible. Okay, now to make this one accessible. Okay. It'll have to go almost to the edge here, but that's okay. We need power, so we're gonna have power. Might look a little silly. If you have any suggestions for how to make it look better, do let me know in the comment section down below, especially if you're more experienced with this than I. But yeah, that works, I suppose. And we've got plenty of room for more enrichment items and more shelters when we need those. And in the meanwhile, let's take a look at this ostrich! Hello, ostrich. Hello. What's up, ostrich? You're doing your ostrich thing. Yes! You gonna go hide in the grass? Okay, you hide in the grass. That's cool. Yourself. You're so cute. She's adorable! This is the female, isn't it? Or is it the male? It's the male! I'm an idiot! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry. Ooh, I need to breed a new habitat animal. That should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Sweet, I learned more about the flamingos. In fact, while we're at this really quick before I end this part, I would like to go ahead and add some more enrichment to my three starter species here, these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Wrong button, you silly sod. Okay. What else is there here? <gasps> yes! We unlocked the forage pool! Is there even room for it? I hope so, because this is the flamingo's favorite thing in the universe. Flamingos absolutely love, and I mean love, their forage pools. So if you don't have space for a forage pool in your habitat for flamingos, I strongly suggest that you make room for it. Because they are so, so attracted to these things. Like, for real, though. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot to put bedding in the flamingo uh, thingies here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, real quick. There we go, now there's some bedding in that one. Let's add some bedding to this one. Hi, flamingo! There we go. It's spilling out the back, but that's fine. Whoa, they flew in through the window! That's freaking nifty. I love that. 
Very nice. Okay. So, what's this for? Let's see, do any of my animals actually like this that I have right now? The red ruffed lemur, but I don't have a habitat built for them yet. Odd. Oh well. Can't find an accessible research center? Oh, come on. Do I have to build a third one now? I mean, if I need to, I will. Let's build a third one, I guess, because we have the money. We're not completely poor anymore. Let's see. Terrain modification failed. Oh, I guess we're not putting one in there. Oh, okay, fine. Be that way. <laughs> we might decorate this area in the next part. That might be fun. That could be fun. But, yeah, let's get these all ready to go. Oh, yeah, we need to add the spring box and Tommy's in the next part, too. So, yeah, we'll definitely be doing all of that in the next one, you guys. And I hope to see you all then. Oh, here's Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, have fun over on the end screen. I will be seeing you all later. I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Ray Lunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 